Hello, this is Minister Paul in Northern California. It's 1.22 p.m. Pacific Standard Time on 10.10.2013. Um, I, I just want to make a real brief video. I'm going to call this a, um, just a preliminary video. I listened to the word all night last night in, in, in my iPod. I listened to Ezekiel, the entire book. And then I woke up at about four something a.m. It was playing Amos and I couldn't fall back asleep. I was so in, caught up in this word. It's, it's powerful when you listen to it. Uh, in your in your in your earbuds his faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God and I really get a lot of revelations when I just listen to it in audio format so I woke up to Amos 4 5 and 6 and it seemed to be I didn't even know it was Amos because it's an audio Bible and I was half asleep I thought it was Ezekiel that I went to bed with but it was it was almost identical it was the same message you know Israel uh, ref refuses correction and is being called to repentance because they've rebelled against the Lord. And Israel is the apple of God's eye. And Israel is the promised land. And uh, our, even our prophetic time clock that we're to be looking at is Israel. Many people, Gary, etc., are calling for these prayers for Israel. I, I have myself a couple times this year, I think twice this year alone, called for a fast and prayer for Israel. So to Brother Gary and many others. And I think that that's because we feel something in our hearts and in our spirit is about ready to happen. So I want to show you something powerful that the Lord is revealing to people. First, let me let me go through this real quick. I was watching this video. Someone is called Seek and Ye Shall Find, and they don't even know this. On October 9th, um, I think because I saw it in Rose's, uh, Rosemary's uh feed um, I began to watch it and I didn't really know that this was Teresa that she changed her name of her channel and stuff like that and yet here I was following anyway and look it just happens to have 10 likes and I haven't liked it yet I will right now <laughs> But uh, 10, 10. But I didn't know that this was TV chores. I uh, understand, Teresa. And we don't, per like she said in another video, we don't personally know each other. But in the, at the end of September, in her journal, she'd received a revelation of this boiling pot. And here are the videos you can see. The 10th day of the 10th month. And this one is called the boiling pot. It shall increase. Um... <laughs> seven seven I try not to look at the numbers too much but you know numbers are all throughout the Bible um, so uh, I'm gonna put a link to these videos or you can just go to this channel seek and ye shall find and watch these videos because we're getting the same revelation because in Ephesians 4 it says we're the same body you know and we're putting the pieces of the puzzles together through revelation of the Holy Spirit. Matter of fact, uh, I, I found this Bible study just randomly um, about the book of Amos. It's seven speeches pronouncing judgment. Hear me now. And it's five messages describing the reason for the judgment and how bad they were. And then it's five visions. See, people say there's no numbers in the Bible. There's five visions to show how bad the judgment will be, but then it's almost, uh, also a promise of rest, restoration in the future. And then it goes on and it shows the judgment, the reason, the result, and the restoration. It has a chart and everything. This guy did a really good job. I don't know who he is. Um, it talks about the prophets, the minor prophets, the difference between the minor, minor prophets and major prophets, and where they were and what they said and exactly what period of time they said it in. It's really, it's a long read, but I'm going to put a link to it because I think there's something in here for us. I think that we're getting very close to going home. Very, very close. And I think this weekend is a day of major prayer. Please start off tomorrow, no matter where you are in the world, if tomorrow is eight hours from now or if tomorrow is... Uh, 
12 hours, say, no matter what it is, no matter what time zone you're in, whatever your tomorrow may be, on the 11th and the 12th and the 13th, start your day on your knees. The Bible says, if my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and turn from their wicked ways, that's the key, then I will hear from them and heal their land. Now, this is what the Lord has revealed to me. One is that Babylon, which I believe is the USA, will not turn from their wicked ways. Matter of fact, we're being run by wicked, evil people in high places that have power over us that the that God is allowing to fulfill his prophecy. And they're implementing laws that go totally contrary to the word of God, such as the very first marriage recorded in the holy word of God is Adam and Eve, man and a woman. And... They just changed that law so to say it could be a man and a man or a woman and a woman. That's law. They redefined marriage. Do you understand? They took one of God's holiest commandments and one of his most beautiful acts of creating a man and a woman. That's how you can procreate and multiply this world. If, if he would never made it a man and a woman, if it was a man and a man or a woman and a woman, we wouldn't be here. Because you can't have no natural childbirth. Do you understand that? And and the United States government is changing these laws. Abortion. I read yesterday California passed a thing. Our governor, ungodly man. Don't tell me he's godly. You can have an abortion without a doctor. These type of laws, when we have all these other problems, are prophetic. Because it tells you we're about ready to go home. So I prayed. This is my fourth video on this, by the way. I'm just not going to release something that I'm not sure is 100% from God. That's why I'm just doing a preliminary one. I have, I'll show you. I have um, one, two, three, four other ones that I just don't feel led to release. But I'm going to release this one. So let's go back to this. Um, the United States of America is involved in a what they think is a secret, but it's really not a secret uh, system that has cursed Israel. They have refused to support Israel. They've uh, they've gave weapons and money to the the enemies of Israel. We were founded on uh, one nation under God. They've removed God from our country, the United States of America. They've removed them from our schools. Our youth are are out of control because there is no God, and it's it's God that this country needs. That our government has turned their back on at the federal level, the state level, the city level, the county level. My goodness. And we wonder, you know, well, we know what's going to happen. But evil will increase. But specifically, soon, I believe war will break out. And it was planned. And you know who gave them the weapons? America. And Israel happens to use Jericho missiles. I was reading them about this they have like first second and third generation missiles i believe i didn't do too much reading on it but that's just one of the weapons they use and we talked about the walled city they also have this iron dome that they can put up like this is a wall of defense hear me now now i believe that when please hear me now this is all, all this is see let me just start by saying this see that jericho right there in the middle of the map that's the exact thing i saw yesterday while praying uh, in the name of Jesus Christ, that is the exact thing I saw. That round spot right there, and as you get closer, you begin to see a city surrounded by desert. Everybody see that? That is what I saw. It was like this, and, and Jerusalem's right over here, see? And we was getting closer and closer, and I saw things raining down on this entire area. That's what I saw yesterday. And the Lord told me today that these people right here will be behind it. And this nation will come under judgment and a curse. 
I don't make this stuff up and I don't play games. Short video. So now I have another question. These people that are claiming we're broke and are shut down the government, the Capitol in uh, Washington, D.C. will be uh, will be involved in this attack on Israel. They will either have funded, partially funded it. I'm just going to do it like that. They will either have partially funded it, but they, they, they will allow it to happen. Speak to us, Lord. So what is it that we can do as they, as I believe they're going to descend security? Look at that. Did you see that? Security pop up. My goodness. Well, let, let me get off of that because I think that there's something happening in Washington, D.C. this weekend. And I believe that uh, I, we should be praying for peace for that because they're going to be put in harm's way because the government has no love for anybody I'm just telling you that if they had love for us they wouldn't allow what to be happening to be happening so I'm gonna put a link to this Bible study I'm gonna put a link to her channel so you can reveal what she's talking about I'm gonna also put a link to Crystal's channel on her last video because what's amazing about that um, L4J, uh, Living for Jesus, Rapture. What What is amazing to that is I've never really, uh, I don't know this person either, but she just made a video that the Lord had put on my heart to make. But I thought, you know, I, I kind of questioned it. I was going to make a video yesterday about, I said, the rapture has happened and you were left behind. And I wanted to like have it knock some sense into people that that really could have happened. And explain this is this is what you will now experience based all off the word of God, and but I didn't do it because I thought it might scare people. But sure enough, God used somebody else. That's why we're one body. God used her, Crystal. Put a link to the video. She boldly spoke out uh, with righteous uh, righteousness and boldness. Uh, the exact same thing that the Lord was speaking to me. You see, when the Lord speaks, He speaks to everybody. He doesn't tell you one thing and me another. He speaks his word into our hearts and we all hear it. And so I believe what he's saying right now is, you know, Brother Gary, Bear 049, had had it on his heart to pray for Israel. I don't believe that prayer should stop. I believe it should be a daily prayer. And I believe that praying for the bride of Christ, pray for Israel, pray for the bride of Christ and pray for the lost. It, that prayer should never cease. Pray without ceasing. Start your day on your knees. Learn neology, not theology. When the Lord shows you stuff like this, uh, you know, like, and that uh, Jericho, I want to close on that, that Jericho in Jerusalem is about to get hit by missiles. Um, you know, it's really time to wake up and pray. I'm going to close with this. Um, as far as the boiling pot goes, so here's the area. I believe that part of the, the planning of this is the United States government. I believe Egypt, Syria, Iran, and Turkey will all uh, become involved and dragged into this. And uh, it'll be, it'll eventually, we won't be here. The bride is about ready to be taken away out of here, out of the scene. Thank you, Jesus. So we look for his return. We can feel it in our hearts. We can feel it in our spirits. But we can also feel the evilness that's coming upon us. You go to 2 Thessalonians 2 and read that. That it says, And the son of perdition will be revealed. We are living that 2 Thessalonians 2. We're about ready to be taken out of here. And you know what goes with us? The Holy Spirit that's in us. Imagine all these Holy Spirit filled Believers in Christ Jesus that have been washed in the blood and our names are written in the book of life. And Jesus Christ blows a chauffeur and, and that trump and all of a sudden we just all vanish. What evil will be left behind here? Uh, it won't be your concern anymore. 
because you'll be in heaven. But the ones that you were to witness to right now will be left behind without all of us to witness to. Now the Lord has a plan for Israel with the 144,000 and the two witnesses. And I'm not talking about the two witnesses on YouTube either or the 20 of them. They haven't came yet. They will actually literally be in Israel because God has a plan for Israel. But Washington, D.C. and the America, as you know it now, will just come under total uh, government control and martial law. I believe we'll start to see that happen. I believe we'll start to see war happen. I believe we'll start to see this attack happen on this area right here. Just like I've seen in my vision, and I believe that Israel and this is the timepiece for us to be caught up. So look at that area. Put it in your heart and ask, what is it that we can do? And I have one question for you and one prayer request. Last night while listening to Ezekiel 24 in this cooking pot, the Lord showed me something briefly. Every summer, or strike that out, every winter, every winter, I make homemade chicken and dumplings. I, I get a whole chicken, and I put it in this big pot. It's the biggest pot we have. I don't know how many gallons it is, but it's big. And I put the whole chicken in there after rinsing it real good. And it has to be cooked. It has to be purified. It has to be put through the fire for the impurities to get out of it because you know foster farms usda is salmonella is is poison it they're they're threatening to shut down three uh chicken factories poultry factories here in california alone and seventy five thousand cattle died we're talking about our food supply under attack we're talking about famine and drought do you understand this chicken has to be cooked fully and it has to be put through the fire and refined and this scum rises to the top. And um, and then it's scooped out. It's good for nothing. Have you ever seen that fatty, dark gray? It's not gray. It's not brown. It's just gross scum. It, it's just tossed in the trash. It's good for nothing. It's impure. It's unclean. That part has to go before I can add in the dumpling mix, the flour and the and the salt and the water and all that and, and, and then you can make a meal that part has to be removed it has to be put through the fire and refined and that's what I believe is going to happen in the great tribulation Jacob's trouble is people are going to be put through the fire and if they refuse the mark of the beast then they're going to be refined and I believe we're in a trial right now of being purified and, and prepared to go home so I, I just want to, so that was my revelation I had on that. If you have anything to add about that, because the whole world is a boiling pot. So the second thing is, I want to ask you how and why the Lord took me from Ezekiel 24 to Amos 5, 6, and 7. It says, a lament for Israel, a call to repentance, in the day of the Lord and why he uh, why he took me there what what wisdom knowledge and revelation what I you know what I'm, I believe the Lord is doing here on YouTube is bringing us all together in unity as the fivefold ministry and functioning the way we're supposed to be so why do you think the Lord led me to, specifically, it was Amos 3 through 7. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. It seemed to be the same thing about Ezekiel. Just written by a different person under the same Holy Spirit. What, what do you think the Lord's trying to show us here? Uh, and then I have a prayer request. My dog Ruby has a, a vet appointment. They've switched it to Saturday so she can see a specialist. Um, she's lost three more pounds. Uh, in a week she has to put on weight I mean I, she, she has to put on weight but um, so I'd ask you to pray for this household and everybody in it as we put out this word of God and I'm going to attach this link and for you to study I'm going to attach the link to her channel and L4J's channel and anybody is welcome to comment if you see the negative people come in just realize they're lost 
and I'll delete them if they're way out of line and saying mean things. Um, but so far, it's been pretty peaceful, and I thank God for that. So um, let's let's have a discussion on everything the Lord is revealing to us, and and ask the Lord together in one in one accord, as we come together in one accord. What is it that the Lord would have us to do? Witness, yes. Pray for our loved ones, yes. Pray for Israel, yes. Fast, yes. Look up, yes. Watch, yes. Make videos, yes. But what else, Lord? Help us answer that together as one. God bless you and you have a wonderful weekend. Shalom.